Hello, welcome to today's video. I am super excited about this video because this is about a topic that just fills me with so much energy and I love to coach this topic. And it's all about boundaries and setting boundaries and the importance of having these boundaries in both your life and your business. So I go around and I look at people's businesses and their lives and I say, hey, do you know something? you need to set some boundaries here because your business isn't you know it isn't serving your life and your life isn't complete because you are either overrun with your business or you're not actually spending any time in your business and you still want a successful business so i go around and i look at these things and i just love helping entrepreneurs get those balances in place and getting those boundaries in place. It's one of those important things that we must have in life and in business. So I am going to be talking today about those things and just three of those things. Okay, so just three points of, of boundaries that I'm going to cover today. So just a quick, quick video in the sense of all the knowledge I do know I could go on for hours, but I'm just going to share with you three points in this quick video today. So the first one, I obviously want to talk to you about is your time. Now, it is so easy to get stuck in a rut with your time, which means that you work on your business all the time. You might actually, oh, just I need to finish this. I need to get this done. This has to happen today. I must. I've got it scheduled, and your to-do list is so big, it's impossible. And you just put your head down and you work. And you don't get the work done in the time allocated, so you work some more, and then you work some more, and you work before you know it. Your evenings are gone, your weekends are gone, and your family time's getting in, eaten into, your personal life's getting in, eaten into, and you're saying, "Well, this business is just sort of wearing me away. I'm really tired." And that's because you haven't set that boundary. You need to have a clear boundary of your time, saying this is when i work this is when i start work this is when i finish work when i finish work it goes away and this is my personal life this is you know my hobbies this is my family time this is what i do when i'm not working i can understand that if you're going through a launch or if you're starting out in business if you've got something that has to be done by a deadline i can understand times like those when you have to do more work you know been seen it done it yeah that's fine. Make sure that those times are few and that once those times have passed, and again, you need to schedule in when those times are going to pass. You can't just keep doing this forever. Once that period of your life has passed, once that period of your business has passed, then you go back to setting those times again. Now, your time boundaries might be different on a day-to-day -day basis because Mondays, you know, you might be able to work in the mornings, but in the late in the afternoons, if you're a mompreneur, for example, you know, you've got kids and you'll be like, well, I can work up, you know, I can work once the kids are at school or at, or at play group or wherever they're, they are, or when they're in a, having a nap. But then when they're finished school or when they're awake or when I have to, you know, take them to, I don't know, um, go for a walk in the afternoon, walk the dog, then, those are the times that I have to stop and put the tools down for the day and say, that's me done. You know, you, you have to make sure that you, you plan in that time and, and give yourself time to cook dinner, go shopping, exercise, move about. Those things, if we fail to do them, really affect our health, our, our, our mindset, our mental well-being, our personal lives. So we need to have those boundaries in place. So look at your time boundaries and think about when you're going to be in business and when you're not going to be in business. Now this, I will say, works in reverse as well. There are so many women out there that I talk to who want to be making 5K, 10K, whatever months. They want successful businesses that are, you know, bringing in the revenue like that. And while it's possible to do it with passive income, etc., you're not going to get there if you don't work in your business ever. A lot of people say, well, in order to become a business entrepreneur that makes 10K months, you have to have the mindset of that person. And so a lot of people adopt the mindset going, 
Now I don't need to work at all then, because if I'm making in 10k months, then I'll have this day off and that day off, and I won't do work on this, that, and the other. But they're not there yet. And so they're just not working on it. And if they don't work on it, they don't get things finished. If they don't get things finished, they can't sell it. And if they can't sell it, they're not making the money. They can't make those five to 10k months. So think about it. What are you doing in your time that you've actually allocated? Set those boundaries for both work and personal life and see how you can develop uh, you know, a, a better work-life balance with, by doing that. Okay, I'm gonna stop because I could talk all day on that subject. The next thing I want to talk to you about is getting paid. Okay, so you're thinking, well, I'm in business, obviously I wanna get paid. Now take a step back. There are boundaries in place that need to be in place when you're getting paid. You need to be aware of your value. So that is a boundary that you need to put up there. Your value is what you want it to be, not what you think others want to pay you, or if you've had a complaint about something from a customer or something like that, saying it's too expensive or whatever, or you should be giving this away for free. Oh gosh, how many times have I heard that one? You should be giving your knowledge away for free, really, because it cost me a lot of you money to go to university you didn't give that information away for free to me so you know i need to i need to sell my information too i need to sell it as product if i make something physically i need to sell it if i'm doing my upcycle business how you know people don't expect to buy that for free do they if they see something in my upcycle my retro vintage shop they don't expect to get it for nothing they'll expect to haggle the price that's different that's different so I have a boundary and even when I'm in my vintage retro shop, I have a boundary of how much a discount I will give and I work that out before I put it on sale so that I know this is what cost me. This is the effort I put into it. These are the products I use to make it, you know, make it good again. And this is really what it's worth. You know, so I click out in all my overheads and everything like that and I put it in and I say, no, this is what it is. And so when people come and say, oh, I want a discount for that, I say, well, okay well this is this is my this is my limit this is where i can go to this is where i can meet you and if people don't want that then they can go back try and find it somewhere else they won't because it's unique and it's individual so if they don't want it they either buy it at that price from me at that point with that discount or they don't bother and that's fine by me because somebody else will come in and buy it anyway so you have to have that that feeling and that that mindset about your prices you know, as a coach, you know, in a coaching business, in a coaching world, I want to ask you, how many people come to you for coaching advice, expecting it for free? Now, I got into a loop as well. You know, I've, I've met a lot of people who want to sit down and have a coffee with me for half an hour to an hour, and they pick my brains. And then you say, well, actually, I've got this course I'm doing. Perhaps you'd like to go on it. Yeah, yeah, I'll think about it. You've given them enough information for them to go off and do what they want to do. They have undervalued you. They've undermined you. You haven't put that boundary up. You've let them do that. You've become a doormat. All right, they've walked over and you've said, I'll just take that. Thanks very much. But the price of a coffee. In fact, sometimes you're paying the coffee. Uh-uh, end that. Walk away. You know, the minute somebody tries to pick your brains about something that you sell, then you turn around and you say, well, actually, I, I'm not working at the moment. If you don't mind, this is a, I thought this was a personal meeting. If it's not, then can you book it into my diary, please? And we'll have a coaching call or a coaching session. That would be great. I'd look forward to seeing you doing that. Turn it around, set those boundaries. Eventually people will, will, will have that appreciation and understanding that you don't just give it all off for free. Now, the the other way to think about that is, again, I had retail premises in the past, and one of the first things that happened when I first opened my premises when I was, oh, I was in my twenties, it was people came in asking for things for free for charities, and yes, I gave things away for free for charities, but being in a small community. It got to the point where I was asked for something every single day. And I'm not joking. 
They were looking for products off my shelves every single day. I was a startup business. I couldn't afford that. I couldn't afford that. I still wouldn't be able to afford that even if I was trying to run a business. You can't do that. You need to set your set your boundaries. You need to say, well, these are the charities that I help. These are the people I help. And this is when I help. And if you want to be part of that, then you need to you need to join the list or something like that. So that, you know, when I'm available to do that, then I'll, I'll contact you. You have to learn to say no. You might want to help everybody in the world for free, but you can't because if you get, don't get paid, you don't have a roof over your head, you don't have food in your tummy, and you don't have clothes in your back. So, and if it's not for you, it's for your family. So think about it that way. So get paid, put those boundaries in place, get paid and get paid what you deserve to be paid. Don't give everything away for discount. It will be undervalued by whoever you sell it to. Oh, hey, again, I could ramble on and rant on about this forever and ever and ever, but I want to stand back and I'm going to say to you that the third thing that you need to really set boundaries in place regarding is your contacts, the people who you're around, the people you spend the most time with. Now, this might sound a bit harsh, but life is too short to spend it with people who are not in alignment with you. So if they don't if, if they don't ignite you with passion, if they don't support your efforts, if they don't try and understand what you do, if they don't share your same interests, hobbies, if you know, if they just don't light your world up, then don't spend so much time with them. I'm not saying like get rid of them completely. I'm just going to say if they're negative at all, if, if you feel like your energy gets drained all the time, if you feel that you're coaching them for free all the time, etc walk away it's not worth it you know again you're in this world for such a limited time you've got to make the most of it and you've got to find the people who are in your in your box in your in your world in your in your atmosphere and who you can be aligned with and who you share the same energy with because then when you do that life becomes so much more interesting and more fun and things become easier so much easier. Now, when it comes to family, you're never ever going to get almost all your family members all the time. You're going to do things that upset them. They're going to do things that they don't understand. They're not in the same mindset. It's hard because you're related, you love them. But just put boundaries down and say, you know, this is what I'm doing. This is me. If you don't like it, then we won't talk about it. We'll spend time doing something else. Or if it's, you know, distant relatives or whatever, just don't spend so much time with them if they're not connecting with you. And if you don't connect with them, don't feel obliged. Just never feel obliged. It's your life. It's a short life. It's your life. They don't run it. They don't rule it. You don't have to. And the other boundaries you have to think about is boundaries with your immediate family, as in with your kids and your partner. They're going to want your time, the, you know, you kind of get into this, this thing when you raise children, for example. When you're there at first, you're at their beck and call. You'll do anything for them because babies, you need to be there. You need to feed them, you need to dress them, you need to clean them, you need to care for them, you need to get them to sleep. You need to get them outside, you need to exercise them, you need to choose their education. You need to help them with homework. You need to, you know, help them tie their shoelaces. All those things you need to do. When they get older, you need to start loosening off a little bit. And you need to continually reset those boundaries because they shouldn't need you just as much. And if you're always there doing that for them, then they are going to weaken in themselves as a person. They're going to always look for other people to do that. So you're not just helping yourself, you're helping them as well. So again, set those boundaries, particularly if it's a business boundary and you want to work, you just have to put that in perspective and say well this is my time and I have to do this or this is my me time this is my downtime I need some space and then I'm with you 100% and that goes with your your partner as well yes I want to spend the time with you but this is important to me just now let me do this and then you've got me 100% no distractions and that will work so much better your relationships will be stronger okay so that's what I'm going to cover today on boundaries very quick just Putting it out there, some things that you can start implementing straight away, 
really think about those time allocations that you have in your day and in your week. Plan out what you do, what's, what's your priority those days. Write it down, just make sure that you're not eliminating work completely, but making sure that you are spending time in those priorities of your life. That is obviously creating your income with your business, making sure that you are healthy. So exercise, movement, you are eating healthy, you're preparing healthy meals, not just takeaways. Don't just keep getting into that habit of lifting the phone, calling things in. Cooking healthy meals doesn't take long. Meal plan it. So exercise, meal plans, fluids, drink lots of water, keep on top of that, and sleep. Now, you know I'm an expert in sleep, written a book on it. So, um, you know, sleep is a huge, huge aspect that a lot of people miss out. And a lot of fempreneurs do this. I did it myself, young family, running a business, sleep can wait, sleep can't wait. Sleep is part of your health. I got really poorly because I did not allow myself enough sleep. You've got to be on top of it. So health comes first. Get those boundaries in place. Make sure you're getting paid. And just keep those keep keep those walls up if you need to with certain people. Walk away when you have to, but make sure that you connect with people that you are in alignment with and you share the same energy with. If you don't, there's other people you can connect with. But just limit the time that you have with those negative people and move on and find those people who will support you no matter what. Okay, that's me for today. Have a great day and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. You take care now.